Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Looks like my camera's all wonky there this morning. How are y'all doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Oh, for the next few minutes, I just noticed as I'm speaking, you can see my breath. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but uh, it's a little bit chilly out this morning. The uh, I know you couldn't see that from here. The, the pool is steaming. That's how cool the air is this morning. Nice crisp day out today to finish up the week this week. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me. Uh, I appreciate that. As always, fun to see you here. So whether you're watching live or, or watching on the replay, drop a comment in there. Let me know that you were here. And if you know somebody else who could benefit from joining us in our conversations every morning, tag them in that comment. Let them, that'll uh, get it to show up. Uh, for them in their comment feed and they can join us so um, you, you've heard if you've watched the show for a while you've heard me say several times that the show is syndicated in lots of different places you might be listening to this in your podcast catcher watching it on YouTube or watching it live on Facebook all of those are awesome I, uh, I enjoy and appreciate the fact that you are here but um, just want to let you know it's out there in lots of different places, so be sure and catch it there. So this week we've been talking about work that matters, and uh, I kind of I had an old friend of mine, a, a, a teaching friend of mine, give me a, a pretty simple formula for teaching many years ago, and I kind of go back to it as often as I can, and so that's what I want to do today is kind of go back to his model to wrap things up on our discussion of work that matters. And his model was pretty simple. It was, you tell them what, you tell them so what, you tell them now what. What, so what, and now what. All right? So the what we've been talking about all week are the, the characteristics, the different aspects of work that matters. Matters to whom? That was Monday's, I think it was Monday's topic. Um, if you didn't hear that, that's a pretty good one. I, I would encourage you to go back and listen to that. It has to matter for two people, two constituencies, um, so just be aware of that, go back and listen to that, but all week we've talked about it, uh, Wednesday and Thursday we talked about the four characteristics that uh, describe work that matters, today I want to talk to you about so what and now what, um, so what, who cares, Does, is work supposed to matter, you know, I had this conversation, I had a great conversation at lunch yesterday, with a local business owner, we we wound up sitting there for two and a half hours talking, and uh, and it was pretty fantastic. But one of the things that we talked about <clears throat> was, um, I guess the best way to describe it is this employee mentality, right? It's a, an employee mindset that I'm not supposed to enjoy my work. I'm not supposed to find something that's fulfilling. I got this job because it pays well and I just do it until I can get to Saturday. Get to the weekend, right? Um, and, and, and the sad part is that many, many people live their life every day that way. That's the way they look at, at the work that they do. Is It's just an interruption between weekends. <laughs> right? And I look at it differently, and that's why I've, I mean that's why work that matters is one of the the key pillars of what I teach is because we have the opportunity to enjoy what we do. We're uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. We are here for a purpose to do some specific kind, special kind of work, and that might not be the work that puts the food on the table either, as we talked about yesterday. There's lots of different ways to get paid. But we're here to do something unique, that, that we were put here, a specific gap that we were put here to fill. And if we deny that, then there's a chain reaction of things that happens beyond that. Not only am I not fulfilled by the work that I'm doing, but those that I am trying, uh, I should be creating value for, are robbed of some of that value. And then there's this ripple effect where if I'm not doing my part, then the people that depend on me 
are missing out on the opportunity to do their part. I use the example of accounting all the time. I don't like doing accounting. I can do it, but I don't like doing it. And if I try to do it, I do a poor job of it. But there are people that love doing it. So if I don't give them, if I don't create the circumstance for them to do their art, I'm robbing them of the chance to do that. Why would I do that? So we're, we're not just, and he even brought up um, th- that the, the way a lot of people look at, at what they do is they're just like a replaceable cog in a wheel, right? And we're not an interchangeable cog in a wheel. We are a specific cog in a giant mechanism that's here to perform our specific purpose. You just have to find out what that is. And that's why it matters. That's the so what of work that matters. You have to find your work that matters. Otherwise, not only are you denying yourself, the ripple effects, the butterfly effect, if you will, denies other people of value and opportunity also. So, that's the so what. Now what? Well, now you have to start finding your work that matters. As I said, this is kind of a one of the central pillars of what I teach, and I would love to help you find your work that matters. I am working on a um, an online program, the self-paced program, to go through it. That's not quite ready yet, so I will be happy to help you one-on-one. If you just send me an email or send me a message here on Facebook. On Facebook, it's, uh, well, let's see, TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. Get you to the right page. Send me a private message there or just send me an email. Tell me that you are interested in finding the work that matters to you, and we'll get started. All right? So, but that's what you have to do. And and it, so here's the other thing. <laughs> this is, this is going to sound, I'm, I'm going to sound like I'm complicating it, but just stick with me here for a minute, okay? The work that matters for you might change. So as we gain, we talked about this at lunch yesterday also, or maybe it was breakfast. Anyway, the as you work and as you gain experience, your risk tolerance changes. What you want, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, what, you, what one person thinks is risky and the other person is like, oh, no, that's not a problem at all. Because my view, my experience tells me that this is not a risk, whereas yours might make you feel like it's more risky, right? So as we move up the difficulty and experience ladder, as we've talked about, our our opportunities and our responsibilities may change. So this is, I I tell you that to emphasize the, the point that this is an ongoing effort. This is not a, like many things, this is not a one and done. You don't cross some finish line and woohoo, now I'm successful. Right? You pursue success every day. And if you string a couple of days together, now you're successful. There's not some golden finish line out there to cross. You got to do it every day. And you have to pursue your work that matters every day. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for being here. Joe, appreciate you being here live. Thank you, sir. Uh, for those of you that asked yesterday, ask about her yesterday, uh, the chicken's already out of the yard today. But I got I got a uh, little red chicken here. We still have to name him. If you got a good name for him, drop it down in the comments. We'll uh, see if we can't find a good name for him. She had plenty to say yesterday. She was quite the topic in the comments. If you didn't see those, go back and check them out. It's Friday, so the weekend is coming up. Hurricane coming up this weekend also. So um, who knows where that's going to go if you're in Florida and you're staying. Buckle down. If you're getting out, probably too late. Highways are packed. But uh, be safe and uh, let us know if there's anything we can do to help. Let us know that you're safe once you get out. We have other folks, regular attenders, members of the audience here that are traveling, make, taking big trips. Um, just everybody be safe in what you're doing, right? Be mindful 
be safe, and be back here on the show Monday when we do it all over again. All right? You guys take care. Talk to you then. Have a great Friday.